Hello student, hi. Good evening. So today we are going to see one our effective mass of electron in valence band. Okay, effective mass of electron in valence band. Last time what we have seen, we have seen the concept of what cool. Okay, so today we are going to see what today we are going to see effective mass of electron in valence band. Okay, so let us see. Effective mass of electron in valence band. So this is what effective, effective, effective mass, effective mass of effective mass of electron in valence band. Okay, effective mass of electron in valence band. Valence band. Okay, is it visible? Is it visible? I think. Some ink is very light, so okay, it may be visible. Effective mass of electron in valence band. Okay, so effective mass of electron in valence band. <coughs> see, first of all, what we are going to see. First, we will see that we will assume that some electron. Okay, so there is some electron near the near the top of the allowed energy band okay so near the top of the allowed energy band means there is a some electron near the top of the valence band near the top of the valence band we will assume like this okay so let us assume that a this is fine ek diagram through ek diagram with the help of ek diagram we are and this we are going to see what effective mass of what Effective mass of the electron in the valence band. Okay, so this is my and then this is my EK diagram. Okay, so let us assume that there is some electron. Okay, near the top of the top of the allowed energy band means allowed energy band means what conduction band top of the conduction band. Okay, so sorry top of the valence band top of the valence band. So this is my E V. This is my EV. I chop the valence band. I chop the valence band at top of the valence band. Okay, top of the allowed energy band. What is this? This is what wave function. This is what wave function. Okay, so wave function corresponding to what? Corresponding to allowed energy, allowed energy band. Okay, allowed energy band. So now see here, see here. So this we have assumed some electron near the top of the allowed energy band. Now what we are going to see? Let us assume that what? Let us assume. <coughs> let us what? Let us approximate approximate the curve. Okay, approximate the curve of what? Curve of the energy energy near what? Near the top of the valence band. Okay, near the top of the valence band. So let us assume what? Let us assume that. Let us assume that what? The energy. Energy near the top of the allowed energy band is approximated by what? Approximated, approximated by parabola. What parabola? So let us see parabola. It is not actually parabola. So this function is what sinusoidal. We are just what for the purpose of for the purpose of finding effective mass of what electron in the valence band. For that purpose, we are approximated it as what parabola. Okay. So therefore, for which the equation is given as what e. So this is my e minus e d is equal to what is equal to what minus c two what minus c two k square okay c two k square why it is why it is minus why it is minus because here you see this curve is what downward <coughs> downward means this is negative parabola okay so negative parabola around my negative parabola okay is it running yes okay sorry for interruption okay so here This is my e minus e v is equal to minus c two k square. Why it is negative? Because of this parabola. See negative parabola equation. This is what this is y y is equal to minus c k square. Okay. When you will draw this, this will come like this. Okay. Negative sign. Okay. So this is what equation of this because of this this c two is what negative c two is negative. Okay. So now see here this e v this e v. Okay. E V means here the energy at the top of the valence band is greater than what? Greater than E. Greater than E. This E V is greater than E, which implies that what? 
which implies that C here. If this CV, the CV is greater than this, means this quantity is negative. This quantity is negative. This is also negative. Negative, negative, positive. This means that C2 is C2 is positive. C2 is positive. Now we are confirmed. We are confirmed about what? See, we are confirmed about that the C2 is what? C2 is positive. Why? Because CV is negative. Negative this side, negative this side means what? Positive or not. See here, this implies what? This implies actually this CV is what? Greater than E. Okay. So I can write this as I can write this as what? EV, EV minus what? E. Okay. So this is my negative. Okay. So let us don't do this. Okay. Actually understand like this only. So this is greater than, this is greater than E means it will come negative only. Okay. Result is negative, negative, negative means positive. C2 is positive. Okay. C2 is positive only. Okay. This is negative quantity. This also negative. Negative, negative cancel. So C2 is positive. Okay. So just, just, you just keep it in mind. Okay. So this E V is greater than, this E V is greater than E. See this energy is down, downward. Okay. Total energy is this downward. This is top of the energy. Level, level. This level is higher than this. So that's why it is negative. Okay. Negative, negative tension. Okay. So it will confirm that the C2 is positive. So now see. Let us differentiate this. Differentiate this one. First time, what you will get? D by dk. D by dk is equal to what? D by dk is equal to minus minus 2c2 minus 2c2k. Okay. Minus 2c2k. Now when you will differentiate this next time, what you will get? D square e upon dk square is equal to what? Is equal to what? Minus 2c2 minus 2c2. Okay. So this we will get. Now what you do? Just multiply this equation both sides by 1 by h cut square. 1 by h cut square. D square e upon dk square is equal to minus 2c2 divided by h cut square is equal to what? 1 by m ml star. Okay. So this is my effective mass. ml star v in valence band. Okay. So this is my effective mass. So this is my effective mass. Where effective mass of what electron? Where in valence band. Okay. So now see this C2 is positive quantity. This H cut is also positive quantity. 2 is also positive quantity. Then what should be the negative? Then MN star should be negative. Or not? Yeah. MN star should be negative. Okay. So therefore from here we got MN star. I mean, V star is equal to how much H cut square divided by what minus 2C2. Okay, 2C2. Or, okay, so this is what, this is my effective mass of what electron in valence band, which is what, which is negative. Okay, effective mass of electron in valence band is what negative negative why because of this point this okay c2 c2 here is what positive c2 is positive because of this we we got here we got here what effective mass of electron in the valence band is negative valence band is negative now what now we will see what is its effect okay negative mass effect Okay, in valence band, in the moment of what electron. Okay, so up to this is okay. So nothing same like in case of conduction band. Just the change is only here. Okay, because it is negative. It is negative. Okay, this wave function is negative because of this it came negative. So we have approximated as negative parabola. Okay, so therefore this is negative. But here E V is what greater than this greater than E. So this quantity is negative, this also negative, negative negative will get cancelled, this will confirm that, so C2 is greater than 0, means C2 is positive quantity. 
from their secretes also secretes positive the hcat is also positive two is definitely positive so then what is remaining remaining is this mn mn star b means effective mass of electron in the valence pair must be negative it must be negative so therefore the effective mass of electron is negative in valence pair okay so that's that's all now we will see further what is its effect in the moment of electron so see here so now we will understand moment of electron against electric field how it is see due to this negative mass of electron in valence band this is negative which implies that which implies that what movement of electron near the top of the valence band movement of electron this movement 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 of electron electron near near the top near the top of valence band is is in is in the is in the direction is in the direction of of electric field is in the direction of electric field see here this is my electric field and this is my electron electron is moving in the same direction of electric field hmm? is it possible yes it is possible only in case of valence band in case of valence band you see in valence band electron is moving in the same direction of electric field same direction of electric field okay so same direction of electric field here whole movement is up but this electron is what what type of electron this electron is actually bound electron okay so this is actually bound electron okay in valence band in valence band okay so in valence band so movement of electron near the top of the valence band is same as that of the applied electric field applied electric field okay so therefore therefore here here again what in, what it implies that it implies that the electron the electron near electron near the near the top near the top of top of the top of the allowed top of the allowed energy top of the allowed energy band top of the allowed energy band or valence band valence band valence band feel valence band feel like negative feel like negative mass negative mass okay so feel like negative mass where in the top of the allowed energy band or valence band or or top of the valence band okay top of the valence band or top of the valence band or top of the allowed energy band it will behave like it has negative mass or it will feel like negative mass okay it has negative mass it will feel like that it will feel like that it has negative mass okay electron where near the top of the allowed energy band okay so that here that its movement is in same direction as 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 that of applied electric field okay so therefore therefore the electron in almost full of the full of what valence band so therefore electron in almost full of valence band full of valence band that can be described by that can be described by what considering a simple positively charged okay positively charged empty state okay positively charged empty state that we have seen okay so that we have seen just if you want to note it then note it while pausing the video okay so just you can note it then after that you can write okay so now see here how you can describe that because we have seen all about bound electron moment of bound electron okay electron have effective mass what is the impact of this effective mass is that it is moving in the same direction of applied electric field applied electric field and near the top of the valence band it is it is behaving like that it has negative mass or it is feeling like that it has negative mass okay 
negative mass okay so now if we will see that the electron in the electron in almost electron in the what electron in valence band which is almost full full of electron okay full of electron which is almost full of electron means some of hole is present near the top of the valence band okay we are seeing it for what bound electron bound electron means electron in valence band okay implies that electron in electron in valence band okay electron in valence band so okay so this is what ek diagram ek diagram so now this electron the electron which is bound electron electron in the valence band okay valence band which is almost which is almost full of electron okay all other are electron all other are electron means all the other energy state are filled with filled with electron okay some of the some of what some of the energy state are empty empty so now see here now see here the electron in the valence band which is almost full of the electron almost full of electron can be what can be described can be described by what can be described by considering can be okay this implies that it can be what it can it can be described it can be described it can be described by considering by considering by considering simply by considering simply a positively okay by considering simply a positively charged empty state positively charged empty can be described by simply a empty state okay empty state now it can be okay simply a empty state this can be described described by considering simply by empty state empty empty state okay empty state empty empty state okay provided product providing that what providing that providing that providing that it has what it has positively charge it has positively charge okay it has positively electronic charge it has positively electronic charge which is associated with each which is associated with each state it has what it has positively it has positively what okay provided that provided that it has positively charge what positively positive charge okay associated associated with each neg each energy state and has also has also negative this negative effective mass this is what over negative effective mass okay so this is what negative negative effective mass negative effective mass okay so this is my negative effective effective mass okay it has also negative effective mass associated negative effective mass associated with each state associated with each each state which state energy state energy state okay so this means what electron in where in valence band which is almost which is what almost full of almost full of what almost full of electron electron is can be described by what can be described by what can be described by simply simply empty state simply this empty state okay empty state provided that what provided that provided that okay <coughs> provided that that electronic provided that that negative electronic charge is associated is associated with each state with each state okay with each state and and effective mass is also associated with 
each state okay effective mass is also associated with each state okay with each state okay so now now this band this model of the band okay this model of band <coughs> can be this model of band okay you see this model of band this model of band can be can be converted to new model this is what ek diagram new model okay can be converted to new model having having particle having particle okay having what particle with particle with positive charge particle with positive charge okay particle with positive charge and and effective mass positive effective mass positive effective mass okay so other these are electron only okay other state so i am representing this model okay this small band of model that can be converted to new model new model with what with particle having what having <coughs> having what having positive charge having positive charge and positive effective mass positive effective mass okay positive effective mass now positive effective mass okay so this is equivalent to this okay so now this type of what the density of these particle this is in what in valence band okay so this is in valence band this is my ev this all about this is all about valence band okay so valence band <coughs> now density of this density of this particle in the valence band in the valence band is equivalent to what Equ equivalent to the density of electronic energy state density of electronic energy state how many electronic energy state is there that much what that much particle is present is present what that much particle is present in the valence band in the valence band so therefore this new particle is called what hole new particle is known as hole okay this new particle is known as hole hole and this hole this hole has this hole has positive effective mass which is represented by what mp star okay positive effective mass positive effective mass positive effective mass of hole of hole okay so hole have positive effective mass but the electron but hole hole has positive effective mass but the electron has negative effective mass where in valence band where in valence band okay first we we discussed all about what the electron in the valence band which is bound electron which is bound electron we have seen everything about this electron only okay with the help of all the result that we have got in the last class and we have applied all the result in this valence band okay in this valence band then from there we got what we got the negative negative effective mass of electron in the valence band okay in the valence band then from there we what we we observe that the electron which is near the top of the near the top of what valence band the electron near the top of valence band is what is actually what is actually feeling like negative mass is actually feeling like negative mass so therefore the movement of this particle is is in the same direction as that of applied electric field okay as that of applied electric field from there from there as we apply here force see here from here force is equal to mass into acceleration m in star okay m in star into a is equal to minus e e applied electric field okay from here acceleration is equal to what minus e e divided by m n star m n star this is negative okay it is actually negative 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 get cancelled then this e is equal to what e e divided by m n star okay so from here we got what we got positive we got positive acceleration means the movement of electron is in the same direction of applied electric field so then after that we saw the electron in the valence band which is almost full of full of electron can be described can be described by considering by considering simply positive simply empty state empty state provided that provided that 
provided that it has what positively it has positively electronic charge associated with each energy state and also negative effective mass is also associated with each each energy state each energy state okay so then after that we after that we convert this band this what band of model into a new into a new model having particle with positive positive electronic charge and and positive effective mass so therefore after that we we saw that the number of particle number of pa density so the density of particle in the valence band is equivalent to the equivalent to the density of a density of energy state density of electronic energy state present in the valence band so therefore this new particle is known as pole and it has a positive effective mass okay positive effective mass and its moment is same in the in the direction of applied electric field okay so this is all about the effective mass of electron in the valence band okay so that's all about effective mass we have completed all effective mass okay we have seen the effective mass first uh, definition of effective mass then after that we have seen this effective mass in case of conduction band and valence band both okay we have seen the moment of electron inside the inside the crystal okay so both in conduction band and valence band okay so we we got that both have different mass okay electron has different mass in valence band it has negative mass and in conduction band it has positive mass okay so this is all about the effective mass of electron in the valence band okay so that's all about this lecture okay so thank you very much for seeing my lecture okay so thank you very much thank you